Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to be unboxing my island, uh, which is somewhat, I believe, a follow up to my city. Uh, they're both by the Dr. Reiner Knizia, uh, who's made many, many games, and this was one we were able to snag at Gen Con as a gift to my sister in law. So. Uh, she's letting me unbox it, but hopefully she'll also let me uh, give it a give it a go as well. And I'm looking forward to um, hopefully playing this one because I played a little bit of uh, My City on Board Game Arena, and I've really enjoyed my plays so far. So I'm assuming uh, there will be a little bit of similarities for this one. Uh, but right off the bat, we've got the rule book in here. Doesn't look like too many pages. Um, I think it'll probably be. Possibly a little ever-expanding, just new rules here and there would be my guess. It looks like about seven pages with some examples. Uh, so not, not too bad. Then we've got a sheet of tiles. Um, yeah, got some nice looking artwork on there. A few different, uh, different types of things you can put out on the board. Uh, actually, since I played on Board Game Arena, now I'm totally blanking. And what the shapes are. I'm not sure if these are the same shapes that were used in that. I think those were more um, lines more than these ones. These are um, more Catan looking. Um, but maybe they're like this. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we've got some pretty nice artwork on here. I think they chose some pretty good symbology on the tiles themselves. And then we've got another sheet. So we've got many sheets of these. Uh, but they all all use that um, consistent um, icon, so that's really nice. Then I believe these are probably the player boards to kind of keep track of. Um, not sure what they are in the uh, actual physical version of My City, but um, they're kind of in between being a thick board, but then at the same time still feel a little bit thinner than the average player board. And I'm assuming these are all the player boards. Yeah, looks like they're probably all the same, pretty much, outside of the little symbol on the top there. Yeah, I'm, I believe this is where all the magic's going to happen. Oh boy. And then we've got some envelopes here. I won't be um, opening these. And I don't even know if I want to show all the names of the things in there, but I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight envelopes. Uh, kind of pretty quickly there, but I think it's eight. Maybe it's got, let's see, quick chapter. Yep. There are eight different envelopes there. So hopefully they'll have some good stuff. Uh, but otherwise, we got some cards as well. Seem like they're pretty good quality. And then they've got the same, same symbology. Uh, makes it nice and easy. These look like pretty solid, well put together cards. Don't have to be too busy. Um, but I like kind of the, the look of the whole look uh, put together on here. Um, of this whole card, so that's they're pretty nice. And I like what they used on the back here too. I mean, uh, it's just kind of a a nice, cool a compass. Um, yeah, I think it works pretty well. Right on top of what looks like some C possibly, and then you got some little markers here as well for. I think for individual scores, so nothing too fancy, just a few cubes. But yeah, uh, that's everything inside the box, so not too crazy, but I don't think it necessarily needs to be. It seems like a lot of the Reiner Canizia games that I've tended to enjoy are the ones that are um, simple, but then they have some, some more strategy um, that comes out of the game as you play it more and more. So I'm hopeful that this will be another one of those. Uh, but otherwise, we'll have a video going up alongside this that'll probably give our initial thoughts after a few plays of it, or else maybe we'll play through the whole campaign first and uh, then just give our overall thoughts. We'll have to see uh, how exactly that works, how quickly we play through it, but otherwise, we hope to see you there, and as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.